banking too. Pew kept all his earnings in the bank in a shoe. What's up, everybody? It's me, Brandon Kennedy. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The BK Stank. We are here at Brute Strength Gym today. This is where I'm doing my meet on December 18th. And so I figured I'd take you guys with me and let you see what it's like. I really love this spot because it is just a place for people who want to be strong as fuck. And they come in and they lift heavy. They don't sit on fucking ellipticals, reading magazines and socializing all fucking day. They just get fucking strong. I've also taken a lot of pre-workout right now, so I'm cursing more than I should. I'm sorry. So this is Brute Strength Gym. Uh, I'm not sure if this is Norfolk or Virginia Beach, but it is a powerlifting, bodybuilding, strongman gym. They have all this shit. Those are Atlas Stones. That shit is fucking awesome. This is me just getting warmed up on bench press. Uh, I usually don't wear my knee wraps to do a uh, bench, but I was doing a... Uh, but I was doing squats for a little while, and... They weren't, uh, they weren't feeling right, and I felt like I should have uh, just gotten on bench instead. So there I was wearing knee wraps on bench, bringing a fucking tripod with me to the gym, looking weird as shit. But basically, I'm trying to get everything perfect for this meet coming up at the end of the week. I don't know what it is with bench, but I feel like it's been killing me more lately. Uh, like I have like a, a love and hate relationship with it because I feel like for a while my bench will get strong, my bench will get strong, and then I'll just blow out my not blow out my shoulder, but it'll just catch up with me and start hurting. So I'm just trying to get as good at benching as I can. Player two has entered the game. This is nice too. So this is my buddy Will. He is a gigantic bastard. He is six foot five. And he's jacked. He loves this equipment. He is much, much better at bench than I am. He actually tries a, a max out attempt today that is uh, about a hundred pounds, probably 120 pounds more than uh my attempt it's it's embarrassing how much stronger than me will is at bench press luckily i am much 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 better at squatting than will is so we'll see that later and what kills me about will is that like mechanically benching shouldn't be that easy for him he's got these really long arms he's a lanky bastard he looks like he's more arms than legs but look at the bar, he just flies right up. It's nothing for him. Whereas there's me, I have relatively long arms with, uh, I wear like a 35 inch shirt, or a shirt with 35 inch sleeves. And I, I look and I feel terrible doing bench. I look, I look terrible doing most things, but bench, ugh. And you'll see what I'm trying to do is just like slowly move the weight up, trying to get just blood into my arms. Whereas like Will uh, goes from one plate directly to two plates because he's so fucking strong at bench compared to me. So I fucking hate him. And it also cracks me up too because like looking at, looking at his technique, like he's not hitting some ridiculous hard arch. He doesn't know how to use leg drive. Where there's me and my fat body, and I'm trying to squish it into whatever arch that I can. Look how, look how far I have my feet back, just trying to have every single little bit of tension in my body, just to, to bench 185. And I'm trying to like incorporate leg drive and stuff. It's so stupid. So fucking stupid. Which is a weird idea for a YouTube channel. Look at this guy embarrass himself. 
Dude, like when I walk out in public and I feel like every dude that's a third my size can like outlift me, it just tears me up inside. So I go out and buy a shirt that's big enough to fit them and not me. And then I feel better about myself. Nice. <laughs> I think the reason I had to share this is this guy is maybe like 5'8", five, 5'7". Five, he is not like a big dude at all while Will is sitting there at 6'5". And those aren't fake internet weights, guys. Those are heavy steel. No grunts, no stupid noises, just weights going up. So Will's already at 275. Still warming up. And I know I look stupid wearing a belt. Um, it's not something I'm really used to doing, but it's something that I've seen other people at this gym do. And I figure, look at people who are stronger and better than you, and try to do things like they do, and you'll probably end up as big and strong as them too. So I'm uh, benching 210 for warm-ups, and this is Will benching 315, still warming up. I hate this guy. This is me actually trying to do a competition style lift. So it's done a little bit differently. You have to bring the bar down to your chest, hold it, and then wait for the command. You'll, you'll see how it goes. Um, watch this. And this is 225. So. Let's try and sell smell the sauce for the first time. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so get all, all wrapped up and ready if you want. Okay. And then when, when you sit down, give this a squeeze. Give it a squeeze. Crush it between your fingers and wiggle it around. Uh-huh. And there's two ways of doing it. You could just hold it under your nose and the fumes will hit you whether or not you breathe. Or you could take a deep breath and go full on Hulk mode. All right, squeeze it between fingers, check. Wiggle it around, check. Deep breath, Hulk mode, back and check. Let's go, dude. Oh my god. Oh god. Yeah. Woo. God. Oh, that's crazy. Smelling salts are real, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a healthy person, I highly recommend you uh, you give them a try one day, especially before you lift something heavy. Or if you faint. I love that there. The smell of salts got him going crazy. He just said, don't touch this shit. I got it. So this is me trying to go for another uh, attempt at doing a competition style lift. It's not pretty. I got it off my chest, but it's always that sticking point about three or four inches off my chest where it really sucks. Now this is Will trying to max out again. Strong bastard. Push! Come on, push! I got. Oh, shit. 
Fuck. Ain't that strong. <laughs> I'm not saying I like to see somebody do poorly, but it makes me feel better when I see somebody fuck up like me. Now, we were going to do squats next, but these guys had uh, been using the equipment before us, and I just have to show you guys, uh, these people are strong as fuck. I guess these um, reps here aren't actually, like, you know, textbook perfect. But that motherfucker has over 500 pounds on his back. Like, I'll give him a pass. Fuck it. The other thing that kills me is this guy's name is Brendan. As is my name. So now if I ever go to this uh, gym, there's going to be two Brendans. Brendan, who squats 565 pounds, and me, weak Brendan. This guy is actually so strong, it's actually a little terrifying. Not really a, a huge tall guy, but this guy is squatting 625 pounds for reps. He gets it twice, guys. This is ridiculous. So this is actually the monolith. Uh, you can't actually use this thing the way it's intended by itself, and uh, you actually need somebody to work that little lever there so you can move the little hooks in and out of the way. It's the, uh, the squad rack that they're going to be using in the competition, and so what I'm trying to do here is just practice like I'm going to be competing. So I have somebody using the little doohickey there for me, and I'm using the doohickey for him. Now, it's really funny, like, again, uh, Will's mechanical disadvantage in his arms really doesn't, like, come through at all when you watch him bench. He's just strong and explosive. But as you see with the squatting, for some reason, Will has trouble getting low on squats. I mean, I think that's the, the most difficult part of the exercise, getting low and getting back up, but... He's got, uh, he's got some struggles that he's working with. Uh, the video that we're watching today, Will, I've worked out with him in the past. He has a lot more mobility here than he did uh, the other day, so he's, he's definitely improving. Now, you'll see the, uh, the number look a little bit higher there than you would think for one plate on each side. Uh, this is a competition stiff bar, so this is actually a really heavy bar. It's uh, 20 pounds heavier than your typical... Um, bar that you would like. It's your 20 pounds heavier than your typical Olympic bar. So it's actually a 65 pound bar. So the, I, I guess the idea is it doesn't have that same whip when you're uh, squatting in a competition. You don't want it to wiggle, but so much. So I guess in the competition, the rule is uh, the crease of the hip has to be just below the knee, so you don't have to go ass to grass necessarily, but you do have to get low enough. And I know I'm editing, uh, editing this together, but our workout was kind of short on time. So we did kind of have to rush through our uh, squats as fast as possible because we both had things we had to do afterwards. So these aren't uh, necessarily ideal, but I did want to give you guys a see into what it's like working out at a brute strength gym and what it's going to be like competing there. Honestly, it's a fucking great environment here at Bruce Frank. 
regards to like, you know, just like the overall like equipment and shit like that, uh, there's a lot of like really subtle differences that are making this shit like hella more convenient. And you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. definitely set up for motherfuckers to go heavy. So I forgot to hit record on my set, but rest assured, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, that I actually did indeed uh, squat this during my warm-up sets. Um, still pretty happy with Will. He's he's getting lower, and I, but now you can see that it's he's he's slowing down on that descent. So yeah, three plates is uh, really where it starts to get real, and uh, it gets even realer when you have 20 pounds extra on your back because it's uh, a 20-pound heavier bar. And now we're getting to uh, the really heaviest set of the night where my uh, camera actually ran out of battery, so we had to switch to Will's camera. Looks a little bit different, but this is me doing 385. My goal for this meet is to squat 405, so I'm trying to stay within that range of heaviness as I'm going through my peak, but I, uh, where I'm trying to have as much intensity as I can, but not as much volume. So 385, uh, 20 pounds under what uh, I'm hoping to max out at at this meet. So it wasn't uh, it wasn't beautiful, but I've seen myself struggle more. Now this is a, a ridiculous amount of weight for Will to be trying. Uh, he's using the smell and salts, and I think this is probably 40 pounds heavier than he's ever really tried to squat. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. One day, we're going to work on a cure for whatever is causing Will to not be able to squat to death. I'm totally fucking around right now. Will's awesome. He is a, a fun dude to train with. Uh, he's a good dude. Super strong at bench. I could learn a lot from him on that one. And I think his squat is going to come through. He doesn't want to look at the camera. <laughs> but a strong attempt for somebody who's going 40 pounds out of their comfort zone. That's my video, guys. My name is Brendan Kennedy. You guys have watched the BK Stank. If you guys liked what I have here, uh, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you don't like what you saw here, comment. Tell me what you want me to change. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll have some more stuff up soon. I'll probably be talking about my powerlifting meet. Thank you guys so much.